In this tutorial, we are going to learn use callback hook. So let's don't waste time and get started. So what is use callback? Use callback is used to return memoize function and it's also useful for preventing functions being recreated on re-rendering. I know this sound little confusing, but it's not. Let's understand with the example. So in this example, I create two state variables. First one is the number for number input and second one is for toggle theme. And according to that, our background color and text color will change. Now we have one function called calculate table and it returns the first five rows of that numbers table. In real world, it can be anything like calling API. Now here, I created one simple component called print table for printing the table. And I pass this function as props. So in this component, I create state rows. And in the use effect, I console this line and pass this calculate table function in set rows function. So that values of array set in rows variable. And then print this rows array using this map method. Simple as that. Let's see this live. Here we have one input for number and after that I print this table using print table component. And at last we have toggle button for toggle theme. So when we click on toggle button, theme will change. And when we change number, we see its table below. Now I will show you the problem. First of all, let me open the console and refresh the page. See, when our print table component will render first time, it console this print table runs. Now I change the number and that calculate table function will change and it's re-render print table component and it again console this print table runs, which is working fine. Now when I toggle theme, it again console this print table runs, which means print table component gets re-render even if we toggle the theme. And that's the performance issue because when we change any state in this component, this function will recalculate and even if our number is same, it will return the same value with new instance. So React thinks it's a new result and then it re-rendered the print table component. Now we have to stop this unwanted function recreation and that's why we use use callback hook. And the good news is use callback is exact same as the use memo hook. If you don't know what is use memo hook and how to use it, I recommend you to watch my use memo hook tutorial from here. And after that, continue this tutorial. So there is a little difference in use callback and use memo hook. So use memo returns the memoize value and use callback returns the memoize function. Simple as that. So first of all, I import use callback from react and add here use callback. Now it accepts two parameters like use memo and use effect. First one is callback function and second one is dependencies array. So in dependencies, I write number and in callback, I simply copy and paste this return statement. Now we can store this function in variable called calculate table and I remove this old function. So here, if we use use memo, we get only this value in this variable. But if we use use callback, then we get this full function in this variable. And if we want to run this function, we have to write like this. So whenever we change the number, only then and then this function will run. Now save the changes and take a look. So when we increase number, it console this print table runs. And now I click on toggle button it will not console this print table runs. So we fix this issue with the help of use callback. Now we can pass value as parameter in this function. For example, I pass two and here I store that in value variable and you can use it in this function. So I create a new variable, new number equals to number plus value. And instead of this number, we pass new number. So we get table of original number plus 2. It depends on you how you can use this parameter. Remember, in use memo, you can't do that. Now, let's recap what we learned. So, use callback is used to return memoize function and improve the performance of our React application. 
Use callback syntax is same as use memo hook, but use memo returns the memoize value and use callback returns the memoize function. And in use callback, we can pass value as parameter, but in use memo, we can't do that. Simple as that. I hope you understand use callback hook and difference between use callback and use memo. If you want tutorial on any other topic, you can comment below and I will try to make tutorial on that topic in simple and easy language. So see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.